Hello everyone, welcome to 3dedesignacademy.com. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to prepare a file for 3D printing. Now, I have a wheel from the Mercedes-Benz SUV AMG wheel course, so I'm going to be using this. The first step is to, well, first of all, uh, you don't want to turn the shade off, and I'm just going to check to make sure that there is no actual holes, because if there's a hole, uh, you won't be able to 3D print anything. So I'm going to just say pick surface like this and under surface edit that there is a tool called stitch. Basically this makes all the surfaces into a solid. So I'm just going to you click on the stitch tool and I'm going to say stitch. And this is going to show me if there are any holes. As you can see, there are arrows indicated by, uh, indicating where there are surfaces that might not fit. And as you can see, the outlines are um, shown in yellow. So it does look like uh, there are some holes, so I'm going to fill them in first. So the first thing I'm going to do is first, uh, just delete this stitch surface over here. And I'm just going to delete the rest of it because while it is a wheel and you don't really need anything else, uh, I'm just going to duplicate. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fix this area over here and just duplicate it onto all the other sides. So I'm just going to say hide unselected like this and let's just go over here and it does look like there's a hole over here. So let's fill that in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to strike a curve over here like this. And I'm just going to project. I think normal should work in this occasion. I'm just going to say trim. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a rail one and one like this. I'm going to say parallel. And let's just go ahead and intersect like this. Okay, so that looks good. I'm just going to trim this one over here. I'm going to trim this one over here. And before I do anything, I'm just going to delete the construction history and I'm going to make sure that this is actually stitchable. So I'm just going to undo, uh, ungroup one more time so that I only have half like this. And let's just check. So I'm going to just say pick surface again, and I'm just going to click on stitch like this, and it looks like that yellow outline is gone, which means this file is ready for stitching. So I'm just going to delete. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say duplicate over here, and I'm going to just mirror over YZ plane, because this is a wheel created at the origin from the side view. So I'm going to group everything again, like that. And let's just go in and duplicate it. So I'm going to say duplicate, uh, I'm going to say object. Of course, when you're making a wheel, it's always um, whatever number of wheels or number of spokes minus one. So this is a, essentially a five spoke. So I'm going to say four, so five minus one. And for the rotation, I'm going to set it to 72 degrees in Y. And let's just go ahead and say duplicate like this. And I'm going to say visible to get all my surfaces back. So I'm going to check again. So pick all the surfaces. I'm going to say stitch everything. Oh, actually what's going on? Ah, I might not have grouped everything. Okay. So let's try it again. So I'm going to say ungroup because I think I actually missed this little piece that I just made. So I'm going to say hide on selected delete that one. And now let's go ahead and try that again. So I'm going to just group it like this, duplicate over to the other side mirror. And I'm going to group this again. And I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate object. All the settings are as I need them to be. So I'm just going to say duplicate like this. And that should be good. All right, so let's make uh, bring everything back over here. I'm just going to pick all the surfaces over here. I'm going to say stitch. Okay, so that one is gone. However, it uh, looks like I still have a hole here, so I'm going to check to make sure what's going on. Okay, so uh, it does look like there's a uh, very small hole. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to extend this one over here. And let's just snap it like this. And it does look like uh, okay, so it does look like it, uh, there's still a hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend it a little bit more. And well, actually, you know what, let me just check. If it's within tolerance issue stitch. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to check to make sure that there's if, if, if it's within tolerance. 
Okay, so it looks like it is. So I should be okay. So let me just turn the CV structures off. Okay, so let's just go ahead and try it again. Stitch. And looks like that's good. All right. So now, um, actually, I should have kept that. Um, but uh, after this is done, after you make, uh, make sure that everything is watertight, what you want to do is just go ahead and uh, click. Uh, actually, before that, there's another step. So there, um, in Alias, uh, there's actually in most modeling software, so that's what's, uh, there's what's called a surface normal. So you just want to check to make sure that most of the normals are good. So it looks like um, basically the blue indicates that uh, the surface is outside. Um, it, it's what you uh, should be facing you. So you just want to click on drag like this and just make sure that most of the surfaces are sort of uh, facing towards you or the blue, make sure that it's blue. Now there is a visual normal and there's a geometrical normal. Um, to be honest, I don't know what the difference is um, as far as it, it, when it comes to actual stitching goes. Um, but just to make sure, I'm just going to uh, just drag and select. Now visual normal, at least in alias, it's, uh, in, uh, <coughs> it's related to renderings and when you're doing um, draft analysis, now, geometrical normal is supposed to be actual normal of the surface. I don't know why there is a difference between the two. But when it comes to stitching, you just want to make sure that um, at least the visual normals are set to the right way. So the most surfaces are pointing the right direction and make sure that they're blue. Now, that's it, however, it doesn't need to be perfect because when you stitch it, it's going to unify everything. So what I'm going to do is just pick surface over here. And again, I'm just going to select stitch like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide the surfaces over here so that it's a little bit easier to look. So I'm going to pick all the surfaces over here like this. And here is the stitch watertight part. All right, so let's check the normal. So I'm going to say visual normal. As you can see, it's every uh, everything is facing the right way. It's blue, so that's good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this as an object and in Alias, there is a export 3D, uh, 3D uh, export function. So all you have to do is just say export, file export, wrapper prototype, click on this, and here are your settings. Now, depending on the surfaces, you probably want to make the tolerance a little bit uh, lower. Uh, maybe you want to do 0 0.001, or you want to uh, reduce the ma uh, max edge length to maybe one, something like that. It really depends uh, and really depends on the surface and the tolerances that you're looking for. And all you have to do after that is just say accept. It's going to crunch for a little bit. Of course, if the setting is tight, uh, it's going to take a little bit more time to calculate and the surface mesh are, uh, is going to be tighter. So it looks like this is taking a little bit of time. So let's just uh, let it crunch for a little bit. Okay, so I think that might be a little bit too tight. So let's just go ahead and delete. Okay, so let's try it again. So I'm just going to click on this. Now this is a full size wheel, so maybe that's why. So I'm just going to say wrapper prototype again. Let me just set this to five and let's try it again. So I'm gonna say accept. Ah, that's much better. Okay, so now it's ready to export. So I'm going to say export. And automatically it's going to save in this one. So I'm just going to say wheel. And it's going to save as an STL. So I'm going to save. And that should be done. So now after it's done, uh, it should create an STL file like this. So all you have to do is bring this into a 3D printer. And that's ready to 3D print. So as a final step, before you actually 3D print, I'm just going to bring this in, uh, back in here just to show you guys how it looks. It's going to take some time to load. So I'm going to say this, and there is the wheel. So let me just turn this off over here. Now, it doesn't look jagged, but it's actually because of the mesh. Uh, when you guys actually 3D print, it's not going to look like this. It should look a little bit better. So let me... 
Now, of course, if you guys are 3D printing, it doesn't look like this. You probably want to up the tolerance a little bit uh, just to make it a little bit tighter. But that's how you get the file ready. All right, so that is how to make uh, or how to prepare a file for 3D printing. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Want to learn more? Then become a member at 3dedesignacademy.com where you will find hundreds of video tutorials ranging from basics including card creations, intermediate level tutorials such as this wheel, all the way to class A modeling of the entire car exterior. Interested? Visit 3dedesignacademy.com.